Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing some line doodles. So this is kind of what it is going to look like at the end. And um, it's really fun. I did use a marker for this, but really all you need is something to draw with and a paper. Um, I'm using a Micron PN pen and it's a Pigma pen, a brown one, just because I like those colors. But you can use whatever you want. And I'm just going to be calling this um, doodling because it's just drawing lines and just kind of letting it grow organically. These look really nice and organic and they kind of flow. You can see some really cool line drawings on Pinterest and Instagram, Google images, whatever, um, whatever venue you want to use. There's a lot of really cool ideas for this project. Um, and it's really free and it's not supposed to look like something specific. I'm going to kind of do it with you, but please join along with me and draw with me for this project. You can use a ruler if you want, or you can just use, you can just draw a box. I like to keep these inside of a box for some reason. It's just like, it just makes sense in my head to have it that way. So I'm just gonna draw a box on my paper that I'm going to fit this drawing inside of. Add a little bit here. Okay, once you've drawn your box, that took a long time. <laughs> once you draw your box, this is where the drawing starts, and it is really cool technique. Um, this is actually one of my favorite things when I'm just sitting talking to someone on the phone, something that I'll do. What you want to do is just start by placing some dots on your paper, just completely randomly. I don't know, maybe you need. 10 at least, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, I'm going to do, I would have at least 10, that will help, 11 would be good too, but, <laughs> and then what you're going to do, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit, so you can even see the dots that I've drawn, and now what you want to do is connect those dots with lines, and we're going to kind of bump those lines around, so I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to connect these two dots. And think about your line quality here too. Um, it's going to get a little bit darker by the dots. So watch, I'm going to press a little bit by the dot and then I'm going to come up. I didn't really do it very well there. So press hard by the dot, lift away as you come towards the other dot. So we're almost making like this melon shape, I guess. You can keep these lines a lot closer together if you want to. And then we're going to take this dot, this line, and we're going to bring it somewhere around here. I kind of want to bring it here. So you can bounce it to that line. You don't have to draw it. I should have been a little bit more careful and drawn it thin and then heavy at the bottom. And this could be as big as you want. And then maybe I'll bring this one into the center. I'll bounce it. And then this is where you get to use your imagination. I'm going to have this one kind of go behind this whole thing. And then this one, maybe I'm just going to bring this over to here. So I'm really just connecting dots. That's what I really like about this is once you draw your dots on there, you can just keep connecting these lines. And you can add more shading to this. You could add um, darker, like shadow areas if you wanted. I feel like there needs to be a dot somewhere in here. But first I'm going to bring So I'm just pressing harder by the dot and then pulling away as I go to the other side. So yours should look a lot different than mine because you probably didn't put your dots in the same place. I hope you didn't. That would be crazy if you could even figure out how to do that, actually. You can bring this off the paper, or I'm just going to kind of keep it in the center area. And then maybe bring, we could bring this line here, here, anywhere, really. I kind of want it to build off of this, so I'm just going to. But 
but then I kind of want it to be. You could make these more round than oval, like I have them. And the key to making it kind of look like it pinches in, in these areas right here, is just adding a little bit more weight in those areas. Now let's bring, so you can just do whatever. Choose your dots and then just bring your lines over to them. And then you just keep doing this until you fill in, you can fill your entire paper in. You could bring some of these off of your paper. You can add dots where you feel like you need some. Like something's got to happen in here. And I'm not sure what, but maybe I'll add just a tiny little one in there. If you get an area like that, I'll show you how I would handle it. But there's not a right or wrong way. So I'm just going to bring this tiny shape. The thing that I really like about this too is it's just something to let your mind kind of go into a different place than it usually is. More of a creative, free kind of place. Normally I would speed this up and I probably will speed this up just so this tutorial isn't so long. Um, <laughs> it's also so you just don't have to hear like all of my random talking and thoughts. I usually just cut all of this out. This just kind of reminds me of one of those drawings you do, like when you're on the phone with somebody or just random. <laughs> I think I might bring this one off of the page. Getting a little bit bumpy there. The fun thing with this too is you are creating something new. This has never been created before. And that's kind of cool. I think that human beings, um, we are creators. We are creative beings. So when you get to the edge of your paper, just how I'm doing it, you can just kind of like bring your lines. I mean, just wherever you think that this would go, it could go in a different direction than I've drawn it here. We could connect some of these lines in here as well. But I might just add something in here with these two. Okay, and when you get to this point, you kind of have to decide like where do you want these shapes to go? It almost reminds me of like braided hair in a way. It's so like this one, I feel like there needs to be something happening. Oh, and I have dots I forgot to connect to. That's probably why. So again, I'm just pressing a little bit harder near those dots and then pulling away as I get to the center of that line. And you just choose where you want to overlap it. And even if you're using a crayon, you can make these lines harder and softer. Okay, and then 
just kind of look at it and decide if you want to add anything else. I feel like something needs to happen down here. Like I know this isn't a real thing, but I feel like if it was, it would need to have something connecting it to the bottom and then maybe something connecting it over here somewhere. Maybe here. I'll add music to this just so it's just not you watching me draw. Hopefully you're drawing with me. This isn't just like, I don't know. Okay, then look at it and see there's, if there's any parts like this, just feels like something's gotta happen over here. This one's just touching the edge of the paper. And feel free also to come back in and darken up, thicken up some of those lines. Something that's actually really cool is if you added like black behind all of this, I think it would look awesome. And then I'm just gonna grab these markers that I have close and I, they're probably all, I use these with my preschool class and they bit them. So all of the tips are missing of my markers. So you can use a marker or ink, whatever you want, if you even want to do this. I think it looks fine just as a line drawing, but sometimes I just, I want to experiment. And so I just want to see how this looks if I add this dark area behind all of these cool shapes. And you could add color if you wanted. This is completely improvised. This is not something I was planning on doing, but I just kind of want to see what it would look like. Hopefully um, this, this was a good activity for you just to practice using lines and just doing some, um, some doodles. <laughs> some line doodles is what I'm going to call them. But it can be pretty relaxing, I think, to draw this way. And some of us right now need to relax. I mean, who doesn't, right? So anyway, that's kind of what that looks like. I should just speed this up so I don't take all of my filming time. But yeah, I'm totally using a Crayola marker. What would be cool is to fill the background in with lines too. So you can kind of see both sides. I actually kind of like it without the black. So maybe I should have left it. But at least you can kind of see what it looks like with that. Uh, would have been better to shade it in probably with a marker. And I've got to finish it or else like it just will bother me. But if I were you, I probably wouldn't have done this. I just totally randomly decided to. You could even paint over the top of these using colors. You could use colored pencils over this. There's a bunch of cool things that you can do with this particular pattern. Tomorrow I'm gonna to show you one that's way easier. It's way easier than this. I mean, this is actually really easy, but it's even easier and you just draw basically like a stair. Actually, you just draw a zigzag line on your paper and then you fill it in with lines and it creates this really cool illusion. Almost like this is kind of an illusion, I guess. Okay, so I'm just gonna color this in. And these markers have this really nice, they're totally out of ink use them for preschool. All right, there we go. So there it is finished. Hopefully this was a relaxing uh, project for you. Um, please let me see your images that you're doing and post them to Instagram using hashtag Mr. Otter Studio. And also it's kind of cool just to draw something using lines and just to see the effect that it has. You should look for some of these on Pinterest or Instagram. They're really, really cool drawings. Just type in line drawing and you'll be able to find a bunch of cool stuff. So anyway, have a great day. 
Thank you so much for joining me today on Mr. Otter Studio. See you tomorrow. Okay, hopefully the, that worked out for you and uh, you learned something or at least got to relax while doing this tutorial. Thank you so much for drawing with me today. Um, if you want to, you could try to do different things with this. You could add color, you could watercolor over the top of this. That's always fun. You could also try some different lines. I've seen some really cool ones that look like hair. These kind of look like hair to me, but anyway, um, have fun with this and maybe you can try a few different things. Some people call stuff like this Zen tangles, but I just call it like line doodles. Maybe did I make that term up? I don't know. We'll see. But thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you tomorrow.